I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning time that God has given us to come in his presence and to spend time meditating upon his word. For a meditation let's turn to Matthew chapter 22 verse 13 and 14. Then said the king to the servants, bind him hand and foot and take him away and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, for many are called but few are chosen. Today we will be meditating upon the feast and the joy of the celebration of the invited guests. The guests, both good and bad, receive this wonderful opportunity to attend the feast. But we can see that the king who gave the opportunity to the unworthy ones to attend the feast is personally monitoring the guests. And the king finds out a person who is not having a wedding garment. The king did not order his servants to bring a wedding garment for him. Instead, questioned him that how he entered the venue of the feast without a garment. Many a times when we read this portion, we may have a question that can a person enter heaven without following the divine rules? Let us not connect this scene to heaven, for certainly no one will enter heaven without Christ's righteousness. A Lord Jesus was warning the multitude who is sitting in front of him to be careful about their life because the love and mercy of the gracious lord will not overrule the divine justice so let us not be deceived by this thought that loving god will forgive me when i shed some tears before him remember god is a consuming fire who will devour the ones who make a mock of him here though the king gathered both the good and the bad people from the highways for the feast They need to wear the wedding garment which they receive from the king to be accepted for the feast. They cannot take part in the feast with their old garments. The king might have given all the garment a guest a garment which is according to his riches and grace. And the guests must wear it as a token of obedience for the love and mercy bestowed upon them. And this garment for a New Testament believer is the righteousness of God that is provided through Christ. But it provided to all who receive the gospel and believe in Christ. But to wear this garment a person first needs to understand that his dress is not good enough to enter the divine presence of the holy God. When a person realizes this fact he will be ready to remove his old garment and wear the wedding garment. Once he puts on this wedding garment then he will not have the mind to stand on the highways anymore as this garment gives him the realization that he has been chosen by the king Our Lord Jesus concludes this parable by these precious words Many are called but few are chosen Yes it is a warning for all of us The gospel of the cross invites everyone around the world for the grand feast of the king Every good provision for the salvation of man is already prepared so that we can enjoy the feast to its fullest. And the gracious Lord wants everyone to enjoy the feast as he does not desire anyone to lack his goodness. But only the ones who are obedient to abide by the rules of the king are chosen and are allowed to participate in the feast. Today we can see many have come to the presence of the Lord to taste the goodness of the Lord for free. They need deliverance, healing and other material blessings. But they are not ready to follow the Lord's command to put off their old garment and put on the new one. They want their old life which they enjoy and are not ready to be obedient to the king. Remember, the Lord who judges even our thoughts knows the desire with which we come into his presence we may be able to fool the people around us being a hypocrite but gracious lord is giving us one more day so as to correct our mistakes let us examine our lives that are we really obedient to our lord we may call him lord but is he really the lord of our life are we ready to obey whatever he commands us When we stand before the judgment throne on that great day will we be found to be a hypocrite the one who was deceiving himself remember many are called but few are chosen will we strive hard to put away our desires so that we may be chosen by our lord to enjoy his presence forever 
And may the Lord God help us for that. Let us pray. Father, we praise you and thank you for this beautiful opportunity you have given us. Thank you for your marvelous grace as we study this parable. Thank you, Lord, for the garment of righteousness that you have given us. Thank you for the inv invitation that you have given us. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the privilege to enjoy your presence. Lord, help us to be careful, watchful. Lord, many are called, but few are chosen. Let this warning be there before us all the time so that we are careful in our walk. May your name be glorified. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May the Lord help us to be careful in our walk. Many are called, few are chosen. May God bless each one of us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.